Hey everyone, this is uh, Steve Halton, you know, CNY Hemp Processing, uh, My Hemp Depot, uh, 50 Sheds of Hay, and actually more to come. So I wanted to take a little bit of time uh, with my decorticator, as you can see behind me. Um, a lot of people ask me about the decorticator. Um, a lot of people ask me about what, uh, well, I shouldn't say that they asked me about what kind of decorticator they could get, and that's really one that I wanted to talk to you about. Um, not all decorticators are created equal. Um, this is, uh, the, the one behind me is uh, Proud Mary. Um, we, uh, you know, we purchased this back in 2018. Um, I, uh, I did buy it from overseas. Um, you know, I mean, when I bought this thing, uh, everyone said, why didn't you buy one in the U.S.? Well, at that time, no one in North America was making a decorticator. So I had to get something just to get the ball rolling. Um, she is nicknamed Proud Mary uh, because of the river wheel. You know, we want to keep that wheel spinning. So that's why her nickname is Proud Mary. Um, you know, there are a lot of people that uh, talk about, um, you know, uh, decortication. And basically, decortication, it... Uh, uh, beats up the stalk of the hemp um, to separate the bast fiber, the outside um, of the stalk from the herd or the shiv, the, uh, the woody center of the stalk. So this one actually is a, uh, a roller uh, style. Um, we've modified it about five times, I think now. I, I actually just put it together a little bit ago and uh, I thought I'd do this, this little video before I fire it up because it's gonna get pretty dirty. Um, so understanding what your end use is, is really, really important when it comes to using a decorticator or purchasing a decorticator. And I mean, they vary in price. I've seen some online for uh, eight or nine thousand dollars. And then I've seen other ones that are like three or four million dollars. And then there's anything in between. And um, understanding what your end use is, is really, really important when it comes to uh, decortication. Um, you know, uh, like we uh, we focus on uh, on the textile industry or uh, you know using it using the fiber for uh, yarn or thread which you know we're, we're still trying to seal some nice contracts so if anyone is interested um, you know let us let us know also we're willing to offer uh, free fiber samples if you uh, if you email information at cnyhempprocessing.com I'll do a link down below uh, for you to send an email. Uh, we're more than happy to send you a free sample to uh, to, to see the fiber, to, to feel the fiber and, and mess around with it. I mean, if you're, if you're having fun and you want to come up with a use or you know a manufacturer, you are a manufacturer, you know, I really just want to get the fiber in people's hands so they can, they can see what, it, what they can do with it. But um, since we, uh, you know, we are in that industry, our decorticator creates a product that's pretty close to uh, what some of the textile industry or mills need to uh, to create their products. So, if you're uh, if you're looking to do things like more construction materials or uh, uh, you know like uh, even even if you know what our herd looks like, our herd is a long length herd, um, not necessarily the greatest for uh, if you're doing like plastics or even the fiber for plastics. Uh, you know whether you're doing like a a hemp carbon fiber type of thing. You know, I mean, I've, I've seen um, a, a lot of different uses uh, that you can use that fiber for, but really knowing what the output or the throughput of your decorticator is, is really important. And, um, you know, I, I know that I touched on this on a different video as far as, you know, the, uh, the different fiber structures, but uh, different cultivars are gonna grow, you know, differently for, for whatever your own purpose is too. So, Another huge bit of advice, and I might do a whole nother video about this, but um, you know, having a good relationship with your uh, your processor is really really important. Um, you know what what I'm looking for in my end product, um, and and knowing that a grower is going to grow what I really need uh, for my clients um, really really helps. You know, I mean. It's, it's similar to a grading system, just like beef. I mean, honestly, the whole hemp industry is just like the beef industry, if, if you look at it, because uh, just like when you raise cattle and you want to have that, that cow butchered, um, you have to have it processed, you know what I mean? And when I, when I raise beef cattle, I, I make the appointment, uh, you know, six or eight months in advance 
for when I'm going to have a, a, a cow slaughtered. So, um, you know, having that relationship and knowing that you're going to work with this processor uh, at the end of the year is, is really important because if, if a farmer's quality isn't up to par for us, you know, you're not going to make us not much money if we even buy it at all. And I, I hate to say that because I would love to just buy all the, uh, all the hemp that's out there. But I mean, if I can't use it, I can't use it. So keeping in contact is really important when you're, when you're dealing with the hemp industry, you know, have a good relationship with your processor. Um, you know, and again, like some of the hemp that's grown strictly for fiber is really beautiful fiber because you're harvesting it before, uh, the seeds mature before, before it goes into the reproductive cycle of, of pollen and creates seed heads and then changes the whole fiber structure because there's more uh, lignin in there to, uh, or connective tissue to connect that fiber together. So it makes a whole different uh, type of fiber. Um, and I, I mean, everyone talks about CBD stocks and I, I'm sorry, but that fiber is not usable for, for especially for a textile industry. You know, it's too short a length and it's a pain. I mean, the stuff that I, uh, that I run through Proud Mary here is about the diameter of a pencil. And uh, some of the CBD stocks that I see are about as thick around as my wrist. Um, you know, that, that's gonna jam up the rollers in this because there's, there's the, the initial process is there's two rollers really close to each other and they, they crimp and roll and break it apart. And then, uh, you know, inside the drum over there, there's a large wheel that spins around and it, it breaks everything down and separates it. And then the, uh, the fiber comes out down over here and the herd comes out over here. Now, this machine does work in reverse because the fiber, the way it's designed, the fiber is supposed to come out across this wheel. But we had a lot of issues because we use, um, you know, really well redded material. So that would get wound around the wheel. So we actually had it to where it works in reverse. So our fiber shoots right out that end and then our herd comes out to this end. But, um, you know, and I, I love the fiber end. You know, I love, I love the fiber industry. Um, you know, when I, I mentioned in another video, when I first got into this, that's, that's what I wanted to do is, is I wanted to grow fiber. Um, I never planned on being vertically integrated with, um, you know, now having uh, 50 sheds of hay, having the full growing licenses, which that happened after being licensed as a processor. Um, you know, I, I didn't anticipate having a store uh, to be able to sell products out of, um, including everything you need to be able to grow hemp or marijuana. Uh, uh, today is uh, March 30th. Uh, they're voting in New York State today about the adult use legalization uh, bill. So, which I'm a little, I mean, I always thought it'd be kind of cool the day that marijuana is legal, but I also have concerns as far as how it's going to affect the hemp industry. Um, you know, I mean, obviously there's a lot of money to be made in marijuana, but there's also a lot of money to be lost. And I hope that people still understand that there's a lot of value in hemp, uh, especially the fiber. You know, I mean, I just, that I really think that fiber is, uh, is a huge benefit to agriculture and economy. Um, you know, it's not, I'm not trying to pitch some kind of a crazy, you know, get rich quick scheme or, or to be able to, uh, you know, save, save your farm, but it'll help. It'll, God, I think of that meme, it'll help. Um, but you know, I mean, it's, um, when you look at your profit margins, the profit margins are pretty good for, for growing hemp fiber. And it's, it's only one cutting. And I've been talking with my, uh, my board members, um, about different options for contracts. Um, you know, I mean, I'm more than happy to buy hemp fiber, but, uh, you know, we, we've been looking more into doing, um, you know, like maybe a little bit of money up front or a partial payment. Um, and then the, the rest, upon completion of the contract, uh, just to take some of the pressure off and some of the stress off because it's scary trying a new crop. And, uh, you know, I mean, I, I try to talk to a lot of local farmers to get them to want to grow hemp. And, um, you know, it's, it, it's, it's a struggle, you know, because it's something new and you have to put a lot of money into it. Not as much when you're into the fiber end. I think I spoke before, but it's like 350 bucks or something, you know, for, uh, you know, for, for a total cost for the season. Again, this is March, 2021. So, uh, it could change in a year, could change in a couple of months, but I mean, seed right now is actually relatively cheap. I, I think it's right around five bucks a pound, you know, and you're, you know, you're, you're looking at, uh, uh, 40 pounds an acre as far as the seeding rate, which is, which is pretty good. You know I mean? And, and then when you're turning around and getting, uh, 
you know, anywhere from 200 to $300 a bale, depending on your quality. Again, you know, this is that grading process. If someone grows something that's not up to par, you know, I mean, it could only be five cents a pound. It could be three cents a pound. I don't really know, you know, and I mean, we, we try to stay competitive, but it's not like there's industry standards as far as what the pricing goes. So I try to pay the best that we can to these farmers so that they can stay solvent, be able to make money. But if I go out of business, then I can't buy the hemp, you know, and I don't want the farmer to go out of business because then who's going to grow for me? So it's kind of a vicious cycle. And I mean, I, I want to pay the farmers the best that I can. I want you guys to be a success because if you guys aren't a success, then I'm not a success. And, you know, it's, it's just a, you know, we, we work well. It's like the yin and the yang, you know, I mean, we balance each other out and I just want what's best for everybody. Anyways, I didn't really mean to go into that whole spiel. I really just wanted to show Proud Mary because I really love Proud Mary. And, um, you know, we, uh, we've also talked about and had a couple of people ask me about, um, about tolling or custom decortication, if we would decorticate their material for them. Uh, it is a possibility, but, um, you know, I'm, I'm looking at uh, possibly expanding. So I would like to be able to do that uh, before I can guarantee exactly how much, uh, you know, how much of that tolling we can do. Um, you know, and again, I really appreciate your time. I really appreciate all the subscribers. Um, I started getting phone calls. Um, you know, if, uh, if you wanted to reach out to the company, you can call our toll-free number. It's 833-247-HEMP, uh, 24-7-HEMP, uh, because that's what we're doing, is HEMP 24-7. Um, you know, feel free to reach out to the company. You can go to the website, cnyhempprocessing.com. Uh, I am working on the website for My Hemp Depot, so that would be myhempdepot.com. Um, actually, you can both reach both companies at the, uh, at the toll-free number. There is a local number for My Hemp Depot, but as we're setting up the storefront, there isn't really too many people around to answer the phone, or we're busy putting together some of the, the, uh, the floor models. Uh, so that's 315-662-2020, uh, because uh, 2020 was such a, an interesting year. We figured why not have our phone number represent, uh, represent that year. Hopefully, it's, uh, hopefully that's a good one and not a jinx. But uh, hopefully you guys will help me uh, prove that it's going to be a good luck charm to, uh, to always remember what 2020 put us all through. So anyways, thank you for your time. And make sure that you like, subscribe, share. You know, again, you guys are making my, uh, making my kids think that I'm an amazing YouTube star. So... Um, Keep, uh, keep the love, keep the faith, and um, you know, just uh, keep showing your support. Everything that we do is an organic growth as far as uh, advertising, and I really appreciate every one of you that view the video, that uh, you know, like, subscribe. Um, you, know, you can find us on Facebook, um, Instagram. Uh, I don't do anything with Twitter, but uh, you know, I mean, Instagram is, is a good one and Facebook, but, but please just, just keep showing, showing your appreciation for what we do. I love the feedback, um, you know, and again, reach out, email information at cnyhempprocessing.com. We'll mail you out a, a, a sample of our fiber, um, we'll mail you out samples of whatever you'd like. Um, well, hemp, you know, hemp fiber, the, yeah, well, anyways. Thank you again, everyone. I appreciate your time and have a wonderful day.